to be very specific. So what we covered in the last session was actually quite a lot. So I would uh, prefer if you can just help me with your specific question. I'll be I'll be happy to take that. Nathan, any specific uh, doubts? Any queries you have? Okay, so bid strategy, absolutely. Uh, we have a campaign to, uh, where I can show you the bid strategy part. Uh, sorry, in five minutes, uh, you would be sharing the campaign. Is that what you're saying? Okay, uh, you want me to show you the campaign which we completed created last time? Okay, sure, I'll take that. I'm just going to open that. All right, so this was the one which I had created. And so that was the campaign. So I believe everything in perspective to the campaigns, ad groups, settings, ads, keywords, we have covered all that, even the ad extension. Key, just the audience and the dimension part is something audience and dimension which we will be taking, which we will be addressing today. So if I go into the ad groups, we created one of the ad groups. We set it, we had set in the default bid. In the settings part, we had mentioned what all particular locations and everything we had you know, kept. So let's say I click on this, on this further. It was the campaign name, the type, the network devices, the location we had selected, right? The language, the bid strategy which we have taken just now has been focused on the clicks. If you recall that, I'll surely let you know about a couple of more bid strategies which we can take. We covered on the onto the SIA ad extensions. If you recall, every ad extension we had covered, and then the scheduling part when it should start when it should end right we did add so we optimize we were optimizing for clicks so I would recommend if you uh, uh, if you're able to recall that's great but if you want much more explanation uh, you know we have the recorded versions we always upload it on our YouTube channel like I said uh, last time also so if you are subscribed to the digital marketing parchala you got the recorded session you didn't got this no just like i said i won't be emailing you the link uh, every time you just have to every time look at uh, I, I did mention this in the last session every time you would have to you would have to subscribe to this particular channel all right once you will subscribe so you uh sometimes they actually email you sometimes they don't so you would have to go on to the youtube channel check on the playlist please so on the playlist the sunday batch on the playlist you know this second class was being there so now uh, what will happen after this session we'll have the fourth session i don't put date but uh, okay if you want i can put the date I don't want to put a date because uh, okay this last time it was the put the date was there this is the batch name no problem just uh, subscribe yourself to this and check onto the playlist please in case you didn't receive uh, you could have asked me no problem if uh, you forgot to ask me or I am always just I'm always uh, available on the whatsapp just to ask me no problem so guys keep coming back to this particular playlist we are on this sunday batch may 24 to august 9 
this was updated six days ago and then we'll have the fourth video for today also uploaded over here right so hi manoj welcome to the session it's manoj Lena, nitin uh i'm just telling you you can subscribe to digital marketing partial i hope you are already subscribed to this particular channel whenever there is a new video the, uh, whenever there is a class on monday which is the very next day i upload the sec you know the next session all right makes sense nathan manoj all righty thanks thanks nathan so any for any other questions bit strategy definitely i'll take it and today we're going to start with the display advertisements but uh, any doubts with respect to search ads guys so was the campaign structure the google adword structure in terms of campaign being the topmost no queries okay campaign be the topmost then the ad groups then ad copies how do you go about changing the settings and all that stuff ad extension keyword match types any questions on those front uh lena manoj keyword match types and all those things i also need to know little bmm what exactly is that i have never heard of it can you be a bit more descriptive uh, i i'm not really sure what exactly is this is this something new broad match modifier okay okay broad match modifier lena used to be there earlier it's been discontinued and uh, only exact match broad match and uh, phrase match are being used broad match modifier was uh, actually a part of the panel earlier on if you will see on the panel in the keywords you just have three so we have the phrase match if, if you click over here you just have three broad match exact and phrase so broad match modifier is something which is uh, which has been discontinued people still use it but it doesn't work properly people still use the plus symbol try to do the broad match modifier but google has discontinued so they just do it with just for the sake of it or maybe just to make themselves uh, you know happy but broad match modifier doesn't work now since the google had four options earlier now we just have three options they do try to experiment people do try to experiment but it doesn't work all right so the quality score funda was clear guys uh, with with respect to quality score for every keyword you can check what quality score are you uh, achieving so let's say for this particular uh, ad i'm achieving 5 out of 10 the quality score is dependent on three major things the ctr the ad relevance and the landing page i believe you guys recall what do we mean by ctr is my voice loud and clear okay can you guys hear me properly so we have more people uh, joining in yes okay great so we have vishal and saurav yes click through rate absolutely i hope each one of you so we were just doing a recap guys and uh, now this is for everybody uh, whatever uh, sessions we take on mondays you guys can write number of clicks upon number of impressions into 100 absolutely right sort of this is the url of your batch guys the sunday batch we started on may 24th so expected date is august 9th by till then we'll be able to complete that so this particular url you can be part of it you can keep visiting this for uh, for recorded sessions of whatever uh, se you know recorded videos of whatever sessions we'll have so after this session on every Monday, within 24 hours, I update it, right? So today we're going to start with the display campaign, guys. And we'll make you, I'll make you understand uh, certain other things related to the bid strategy which Saurabh and Lina had asked me and also the remarketing stuff. Make sense? And the enhanced CPC uh, bid strategy, Saurabh is part of the bid strategy thing only. So we'll take that. So... Uh, don't worry if you have uh, questions lean up uh, you feel that uh, you need you wanted to practice but you couldn't uh, you can still practice and then come back to me if you have further more questions all right so that's part of uh, 
the topic targeting that cannot be done through search. So I, I'm not sure where are you getting all these from uh, because this is part of display, uh, the topic targeting, right? So search with search, you cannot do. Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. So with topic targeting is something which we will be doing right now, Lena. It's uh, about uh, the display only. Okay. No problem. Um, understood. So similar stuff, we'll go to the all campaigns tab first on the left hand side and okay, before I begin, I have one more request guys, please uh, do mention, do email me across your customer IDs, please. Once you will uh, email me across your customer IDs, I'll be able to check your, uh, you know, advertisements, which you have already made. So I will add them to my MCC account, which is in my client central account. I did tell you about this. So one thing from the logistics point of view, be part of this particular URL, the uh, YouTube channel. You can subscribe to the Digital Marketing Parchala uh, YouTube channel. And with, within the playlist, there are cert, uh, two, three playlists. The playlist which you have to follow is the Sunday Batch since you are part of the Sunday Batch, right? Okay. That's one. Number two, the customer IDs you would have to email me so that I can check that. Let's start with the display campaigns on the left hand side. You can see all campaigns click on that. This campaign tab will appear. Once I click on the campaigns tab guys uh, for creating a banner advertisement for creating display advertisement. I would go ahead and click on plus tab. This time I last time we did search network. This time we are doing just the display network only. We click uh, we would go ahead and click on the display network. My account is not active yet. I haven't posted across uh, the billing information that I'll be doing that later on, maybe from a different account. So now next thing is as of now, I'm going to be doing all the features display network only. All right. So let's say display DMP at display campaign one. That's what I name it. Next thing which it asked me, uh, do you want to load settings from an existing campaign, but we don't have an existing campaign, which where we cannot uh, take it from somewhere else. This is the first campaign. That's why it's not, uh, we cannot use that. All right. Location, pretty easy stuff. We already know that I want to do a Delhi. I want to do radius targeting. I've already told that across to you. Uh, I can even exclude that. Stop me guys, wherever you have a question, no problem. I'll try to answer most of the questions over here only the languages part we can choose whichever one we want to go for easy stuff not much of a difficulty the bit strategy again i am just going with uh, what do you say the manual one where i can i can just post in my manual bid if i want to bid 20 cents a click or i want to bid across 50 cents a click that's totally my choice right I will keep changing the bids on the basis of my observations, right? I can even ask AdWords. Now, this is another bid strategy, guys. I can also ask AdWords to set my bids in order to maximize the clicks within my targeted budget. So in that case, I will not be changing the bids. Only AdWords people would be changing my bids as per. It's very difficult <laughs> to repeat most of the things. Uh, okay, so I was saying about talking about the bid strategy. I can manually set my bids. Uh, I know there was a internet connection problem at your end. I saw you went offline. Uh, I, you can manually set my bids. You can set, manually set your bids. You want to keep it 20 cents. You want to keep it 50 cents. Uh, you can set those bids on the basis of your observations. Okay. And uh, the second thing is if you don't want to do it manually, you want to give permission to AdWords, they can do it. So this is one of the bit strategies. You know, these are a couple of bit strategies. Number three bit strategies, enhanced CPC guys. I'll talk about this. This will happen. Enhanced CPC is a bit strategy where you are giving permission to Google to again bid for your, uh, you know, for you uh, and they will do it for you on your behalf. 
we don't have to do anything only google will do and google will show our ads on it on those platforms from where we have got conversions in the past for that we have to always set up conversion tracking can you see set up conversion tracking i'll take that uh, today i'm just opening this in a different tab as of now again i'm doing a manual set my bits my budget is 10 dollars let's suppose i can be keep it 100 dollars or 50 dollars or whatever delivery method i hope uh, most of you recall in the last session we had discussed the standard and accelerated does anybody uh, can anybody help me recall i mean i just want to understand does each one of you understand about the standard and accelerated if you want your advertisement budget to be used in an accelerated fashion or you want your advertisement to be shown over the period of time which you have chosen that's something which you can do that do you guys recall that can i get a yes or a no from you please vishal saurabh nitin manoj leena you guys recall the delivery method yes says leena manoj says no idea manoj probably you were not part of this session yes last time so i would recommend you checking the uh, recorded session please that will help you because it's a bit detailed stuff i'll take if i'll take i'll be uh, i'll have less time guys you can exclude the ad extensions ad extensions are not created for the uh, not for the door display ads leena says standard delivery spending budget it throughout the day absolutely manoj if you have 10 dollars and you want to spend it throughout the day let's say uh, some of the budget in the morning some in the evening some in the afternoon uh, some part in the later half midnight then you can select ex standard otherwise if you want to just go ahead and get maximum clicks uh, in the shortest span of time then you can go for accelerated the recommended one is always standard i would recommend you to check the recorded session please so that uh, you will get overall i have explained it in detail uh, so you can uh, uh, just avoid the ad extensions only location and call extensions are valid and that too for they they actually work only for the display search ads display text ads to be precise have you seen those text ads which the one with headline description line one description line two not just running on the search uh, i mean uh, on the search engines but they also run sometimes on other third party sites or maybe on your gmail you would see uh, within your gmails you get these text text ads these are text ads in the display network make sense text ads which work in the display network what is a display network guys any advertisement which works which is displayed on a third party site but not on the search engine make sense nitin sorov sorov is getting it vishal leena right any advertisement which is not just running on the search engine but on a third party website let's say dm partshala website for digital marketing partshala website if a advertisement appears on uh, let's say gmail.com or on uh, ndtv.com these all are third party websites but not a search engines that's why this is a display ad so location extension and call extension are never ever uh, you know good conversion ones ad extension with display don't work text don't go with text ads any time with display advertisements very big organization which have huge amount of money to you know uh, burn across they only do it otherwise uh, it's it's really not uh, uh, never i have never come across any case study which says that text uh, these text ads within the display network working again the schedule start i can do that i can uh, select the start date the end date i can select whatever i want to do it all right and even the timing if i want to place it i want to do it for all days or just monday to friday we did all that pretty easy stuff which we have already covered then comes the same stuff ad delivery ad rotation we are going to be optimizing for clicks uh, at present we are we haven't set up the conversions once we'll set up the conversions i'll tell you how do you set up for conversions last time we spoke about i asked you one question what do we understand by the word conversions what is our end objective with these advertisement which we are doing what are the uh, what are the conversions any idea guys 
so what exactly are conversions so generating leads filling forms downloading something absolutely right saurav you got that right is everybody on the same page right so absolutely a conversion can be a sale conversion can be a form fill up or conversion can be downloading of something absolutely right uh converting leads into customer so converting leads into customer is not a conversion for an online ad manoj converting leads and if a, a sales guy is actually taking a lead and uh, trying to do it then it's not a conversion but conversion for an online advertisement person or an online marketing guy is just con- is just uh, getting leads up till getting leads is a conversion uh, for the online marketing department for the end sales department it would be there for the end sales person it would be converting say leads into customer for them the conversion definition will be different so i would tell you conversion tracking how do we do and then we can take that frequency capping guys this is uh, an important aspect how can we cap how can we restrict one of our ad to be shown to one person in a particular day let's say i create an ad i want that ad to be just shown five times so one impression is one showcase my ad appears one time it's one impression second time it's another impression so five times i want to show my ad per day per ad okay every ad to be shown just five times in a day to a one to a particular person i can do a frequency capping make sense i can do it on the campaign level ad group level or the per day level or the per week or the per month right this is as per see the idea is that if i will show my ad let's say per 1000 times to one particular person and he just keeps on viewing my ad and he doesn't click on it what is what am i doing i am wasting my money by showcasing my ad to that same person again and again who will not be interested even if i'll show him ad for the 10000th time usne lena hoga ek bar mein lega ya do bar mein lega ya chauthi bar hi ad dikhaoge to lega if he wants to buy probably first second or third or the fourth tra- time the ad is shown is enough if he doesn't want to sh- uh, buy then you can he can possibly won't buy even the 10000th time if you are showing him the ad that's the reason why this will reduce the ctr uh, absolutely if you um, you are absolutely right sort of if impressions will go high and there won't be clicks the ctr will go down the quality score will go down and because of which you will end up paying more amount you will end up paying more amount on the click basis absolutely right sort of so you will have more impressions more people will uh, keep on viewing it and don't v- visit it so you do a frequency capping are we all clear on this hydrop welcome to the session manoj clear nitin vishal are you clear on this yes says nitin yes says manoj okay all right so next is guy the device targeting we can even do a device targeting if i just want to showcase my ad on a particular operating system okay i just want to showcase my ad only to those people who use a blackberry or an android or a web operating system or a windows phone i can do that i can even select which device model i want to go ahead with do i just want to go ahead with apple or with android let's say i so it's with my example with my example i want to select all of them taking another example let's say if i am doing it i am trying to promote apple products right so i would always uh, always you know try to uh, select for the android because someone who's already using apple why will i showcase my apple product to someone who's already using an apple phone right that's the only reason why we can uh, we have this particular segmentation targeting and then the operators also whether it's airtel or the other one i asl i can even select that this is only on the display part guys this is only from the display uh, perspective i can go for tata docomo or union or if i am uh, creating an advertisement for airtel then i will probably not select airtel because someone who's already using airtel i don't want to show my ad to those they are already my customers i will not show my ads to my customers uh, who are already using airtel i would rather showcase 
my advertisements to those who are using internet, uh, but not on the ATL network, but on the other network, right? Makes sense. The reason why we would use these, the devices, the, the dev operating system and the uh, Wi-Fi selection and all, I hope everything is clear. You can uh, leave these parts, the dynamic and uh, dynamic ads and the campaign URL options. They are uh, uh, pretty technical. You need to be from the technical background for that and done at a very large scale level. Click on the save and continue, guys. All right. Okay, this one. Now it should be able to take it. All right. So the next thing is again, similarly, it's asking me for the ad group name. I know, uh, I hope you all recall that for search ads also, we have the campaign, then we have the ad group level, then we have the, uh, you know, ads. Similarly, it works in the same fashion for display ads. There was just a minute difference in what we, the settings we did for search ads and the settings we are doing it for the display ads. Now we do that, that, that uh, targeting part. I can name my ad group, let's say ad group one, display whatever i want to name it i can set my default bit to begin with i can set it whatever i want now once i have set my bid i can uh, increase my bid and decrease my bid on the basis of the consumption you know the clicks which i am receiving if i am getting lesser clicks it means my bid is lesser over there in the search ads we always used to get the position if you recall, if my bid is lesser, my position will get affected and my uh, search ad will appear on the second page or on the third page, on the fourth page. But with display ads, there is nothing of those uh, pages, right? Our advertisement is not going to be shown across on the search engines. They will be shown on different various websites. Make sense? So higher my bid, higher, you know, I would be, my ad would be appearing on relevant targeted and maximum number of sites. Uh, if my bid is lesser, probably my ad won't appear anywhere. So we have to keep on observing and keep on decreasing or increasing our default bid as per the clicks which we'll get and the conversions which we'll get. Now, how do I make sure I haven't, we haven't spoken about uh, how to create the ads with the display ad. You need, do you need to be a designer guys, anybody? These are designed, right? I mean, they, they need to have a text and image. These are banners. Do you think we need to be a designer to create a display ad? Anybody who can let me know. Sunil, hi, welcome to the session, Vishal. So you need don't need to be a designer. Manoj says you need to be a designer. Okay, the answer is if you are a designer, good. And if you're not, you uh, so, and if you're not a designer, you can still live with it because Google has got a display tool, a Google Display Builder tool. Hi, Dhruv. Hey, oh, you have also joined in, right? So, yes, there is a tool available. Before I jump on to creating the display ad, we will first of all, Google ask us, where do you want to show your ad, right? Do you want to show your ad to this kind of a site, that kind of a site? Now we will decide on where my ad should uh, appear. Now, the, Lena, which you were asking me about the topic targeting, that comes over here, right? So I will showcase my ads on sites which have a particular topic. So first is this display keywords. This is actually the topic thing. Let's say I want to uh, display my ad, my advertisements on keywords which have content related to, let's say, internet marketing or digital marketing. So I'm the website which is in question right now for which we are creating ad is I've taken this case study. Digital marketing part, but feel free to do it for your uh, any website, please. And uh, uh, you know, uh, I can I can definitely have a look into it. You can send me across your customer IDs. Okay, all those who have joined in just now, uh, Sunil, Vishal, Dhruv, guys, you uh, have to. I'm just uh, rephrasing this again. You would have to 
revisit this particular url again and uh, i mean on every monday tuesday to get hold of uh, the videos which i up upload this is your batch sorry it's a repetition again uh, but it's very important you can check for the recorded sessions of the uh, videos you know you can check the recorded videos of the sessions which we have over here and the second thing which i want from each one of you is the customer ids these are this is the this is the 10 digit customer ids which you guys can send me across okay coming back to the campaign so if i am typing in these keywords now no keyword is going to be typed across on the search engine my ad is not going to appear on the search engine then why the keyword thing is happening with this particular keyword google will actually identify all those websites which have content related to this particular word let's say there is one website which has content uh, you know written and published across you know oh, all about which has all about digital marketing right any website which is talking about internet marketing all those websites will be chosen and my ad will be shown across there make sense i can click on find related keywords it will give me certain more keywords related to it are we all clear on this why what are we doing we are choosing where to target our ads my ads will appear on those websites where this particular keyword is being written in their content saurabh say yes can i uh, get a yes or a no from others are we are you clear on this yes says nitin yes says dhruv thanks so i am sorry i keep bothering you i'll keep bothering you guys for say just writing yes or a no but i want to make sure everybody understands if you are not getting something you can feel free to uh, write in no also please so i have got related keywords i can select those for so digital marketing online marketing online marketing agencies i can manually select so online marketing certificate programs online marketing colleges online marketing uh, whatever i want to type in or i i can get uh, you know suggestions from here now i can narrow my targeting further i can be as specific as i can not just those websites but i want those websites with certain other functionalities uh, certain other features i can select a targeting method and i can select for interest the topic thing is going to come oh, in a while reena so that was one part i can select for the interest part so these are uh, within the interest you have affinity audience and in market audience guys let's say if i click on affinity audience it does have certain categories so this is something which i generally uh, i haven't seen many people going for uh let's say my website i want my advertisements to be up on sites like business professionals websites which are fall under the under the category of business professionals websites which fall under the category of mobile enthusiast or websites which fall under the categories of social media enthusiast that's one nothing is just about selecting that and then i can even create my own audience uh, if there is no part of it i can create a custom uh, affinity audience also but nobody does that so i'm not taking it i'm letting you know the most important aspects only the next one is in market audience guys pretty much similar stuff you have again some more categories you can select which categories works the best so let's say if my category i want to just uh, go for education or let's say i just want to go for websites which talks about computers you're not getting my voice uh, vishal uh, you know you have logged in in a wrong uh, way uh, because i see a, a, you know mobile you know a phone symbol nothing is audible is it for for each and every one are you guys not able to uh, hear me am i is my voice not uh, audible to you nitin sunil i can hear you uh, okay so lena your internet connection i know it's not uh, working properly so guys you have to check the internet connection at your end because for me it's working fine and uh, vishal the way you have logged in you would have instead of selecting the uh you know the phone thing instead of selecting the audio uh, you know the 
audio pane you have to select uh, the internet call okay vishal might not be able to hear so guys uh, you can hear okay guys if you are not able to so uh, lena and vishal if you are not able to hear or manoj just try logging out from go to meeting or uh, look at your internet connection please the speed might be an issue yeah the speed is there is a speed issue lena at your end i i observed that so maybe okay great so you can actually ask your uh, in, internet provider to actually get that corrected so the next thing uh, like i said the in market audience guys you can again uh, select the one the categories which you on so are you on phone manoj uh, because on phone it doesn't really work because you okay so uh, only phone has the 3g connection or a 2 mbps connection is something good right so the next one guys is topics when you click on topic you can further narrow your targeting again some more category uh, stuff you know you can select those uh, topics which you want to go in for internet and telecom let's say i want to go with that i click on that specific one i so you can you can decide on those i want to go for the business and industrial or computers i can go for those now all those websites which would be which would be taken now they should fall under this perspective they should fall under this this topics and uh, the internet uh, sorry the in market audience and the affinity audience and also display keywords every website which is fulfilling this these criteria will only uh showcase my ads on them right makes sense i can narrow my targeting further select the targeting method this is the most important one guys the placement one go ahead with clicking on the placements and with this any idea guys what does that means anybody what would a placement one would mean okay manoj no idea on that no problem anybody else anyone else placements let's say i want my advertisement to be up absolutely saurabh says you vishal knows about it nitin you don't no problem uh, saurabh says you can choose where you want to show your ads mean the websites right when when we say placements uh, manoj nitin vishal vishal knows that already sunil i hope you also know about it if i want to show my ad only to a certain set of website let's say ndtv i have to check whether ndtv allows okay great uh, sunil uh, if i want to see whether ndtv allows uh, advertisements to be placed on their site i can check i have sele- i have mention ndtv i can see yes ndtv does allow i can select that i want my uh, my advertisement to be up for let's say nokri.com or times of india is also there i want it for times of india i want to do it for nokri so can you see can you beat that i mean you're getting all those websites you can just pinpoint to the exact website where you want your advertisement to be up you cannot just play keep playing around with those categories or the display keyword stuff i have uh, clicked on nokri i can just check so timesjob.com is there i can i would like to go with that shine.com i can see whether nokri is there or not a bit of an effort i would have to probably go all the way down and then check for it if nokri is there good generally nokri does allow yeah so nokri.com is there nokrigulf.com is there click india so nokri gulf i don't want to do it okay all right i hope it makes sense we are just doing the targeting part guys i have selected for which all websites my advertisement should be up now my ad will be shown on click india nokri shine timesjob.com 
and underneath timesjob.com this particular section the jobs description page and the bottom center on times of india sometimes it does represent it does tell you where exactly your ad will be shown and uh, sometimes it doesn't so ndtv times of india or all these places my ads will be shown across right makes sense through manoj nitin right so i can select or narrow my targeting further and select on demographics all right through all right manoj so when i uh, go ahead on click on demographics guys i can further specify my ad should be shown to just male or just female or my ad should be shown across to those people who fall under the category of this particular age group now how does google come to know who so that uh, the person on the other end is of is of this age or of this particular uh, gender let's say i uh, i am actually researching on the internet with my gmail id being logged in right absolutely by login id you got that right manoj so he, hear me out properly how would google come to know now i am an individual with uh, in my early 30s okay i am a male following under you know 25 to 34 i age group how google knows because when i created my gmail id i have mentioned my details so sort of says when we sign up on google accounts then we also fill in our information absolutely right sort of so when saurabh has filled in his information i have filled in my information manoj would have done that leena would have done that each one of you would have done that you would have mentioned you are a male or a female you what age group are you into you can select that uh, and google comes to know about it now i all the data which google collects they use that within their ad group adwords panel now me as an advertiser can actually target males specifically or females now certain people who roam around on the internet without logging into their gmail their data would come into unknown one someone who has not logged in into gmail and is trying to uh, you know do some searching or visiting visit other sites on uh, with the help of google uh, search engine they will come into the, in the unknown section right mostly in india yeah i mean it's 50 50 absolutely it happens so i want to target people who are male female unknown both uh, and uh, i want to i don't want to target all these people in this age group i would like to go ahead with unknown also i can do that and the next thing guys it's asked for is targeting option do you want to target more people for the same uh, what do you say budget you want to do it conservative targeting find additional uh, customers at your current cost per customer or you want to discover more customers with by spending in more right then you can do a, this uh, aggressive but aggressive gets uh, happen only when you start with the uh, conversion optimizer i will do that uh, just in another 15 minutes i will tell you about how to set up this conversion thing all right i go ahead and click on save and continue guys one thing which i have missed over here which i'm going to take it in a while is the remarketing stuff in this in market audience we did the affinity audience and in market but we didn't do the remarketing list okay we'll do that in a while so the display ads all once all this is done you go ahead and press on save and continue so the targeting stuff has been done guys the look the settings have been set up now it comes part of uh, now the now it's all about creating those ads creating those display ads i can go ahead and open my landing page so let's say i have a landing page in place which i have uh, created with the help of a tool called instapage.com guys i believe i did tell you about this tool uh, last time and i asked you to actually play around with the free version of this instapage this this is a fairly uh, easy tool 
you can use that you can check for my recorded sessions also for where i have spoken about them in the last or the last to last session i believe it was last to last session i take this particular landing page which i have created with the help of insta page this is my landing page guys okay it's a non technical person can create a uh, a landing page with the help of this tool insta page and there are pretty there are plenty of other tools also i can i would go ahead and click on view add ideas and then submit my destination url once i do that click on show me ideas i'm repeating once again on the top i have clicked on view add ideas okay enter the page which i want to link it to the destination url and click on show me ideas you can see the it's actually scanning my entire landing page and after scanning it will give me all the options of how can i i mean how what type of ads should be there they will it will recommend me It's going to take a bit of time, so uh, just a minute. So Manoj, you say should we create a landing page every time, or can target an available? so i would recommend creating a new landing page uh, so that it does have the form fill up capacity if you have a good you know a good web web page in your website you can take that but make sure that it does have the the lead capturing uh, functionality something wrong happened my goodness i uh, this is strange yeah so you use it on your website only so i have yes yes you can link the insta page account with your uh, with your website if your website is actually on uh, wordpress then it can be done easily whenever you create a landing page you can link it but you would definitely need a help of a developer manoj in that case if your website is not in wordpress because with wordpress you can do it easily with the help of insta page but if your website is in some other platform then a developer would really uh, would be required to do, do the development part okay so this was the display campaign does that answer your question manoj or so you can you can uh, have a landing page with the domain url with the domain for your main website like the one i have it already i have it on dm patshala only right So it's dmpachara.com backslash this entire URL. All right. So this was the overall uh, ad group, and the ads didn't got create, didn't get created. I'll just go ahead and click on ad, and then the image ad. All right. So get ideas from. this is the url guys i'm going to do it again all right so here are the ideas guys can you see these are certain ideas which google has given us right so i can select any of those and then i can go ahead and edit it let's say i go with a very simple one which is this one yes you so sorovas can we make some certain changes on these given 
on these given landing page absolutely you can do changes on the landing page you can do changes on these uh, advertisements also on both of them you can go ahead and edit them all right so let's say if i have taken that particular uh, banner i can go ahead and edit this banner also i hope everybody can see the banner which is right up here and i can make changes to it so if in case or uh, of shop now i want to do it call now i can do it uh, i can change the text i can change the background color whatever i want to do it so i'm not going to spend more time on this you guys can play around with this i can go ahead and do the done part so once i have done that i can select it i have selected this i have selected this and i can select the ad group this is the ad group and then press save all right so the advertisement gets created and you can see the advertisement by clicking over here right over here in the advertisement part you can see the ad is right up here earlier there was no ad i can click on view full size display ad i can copy this entire url and open it in a different tab just to view the advertisement which is which has got created for me okay it says it's got, since i've just created just now so it's it isn't quite ready to preview after a few minutes it would be ready so you can do it this way guys all right so that's how the advertisement has got created and the display ad is up that's all in all this is the major thing which you have for display now i'm going to tell you about how to run retargeting for display ads and how to uh, do the conversion optimization which will help in understanding the bid strategy also are we clear on the uh, search ads and the display ads you can practice that more and more by creating them more or less i mean the entire techniques of creating these ads targeting them and uh, what all extensions keyword match types how do you target your display ads how do you create those display ads we have covered that make sense uh, dhruv manoj nitin saurabh sunil vishal so i said how can we create youtube ads oh, that's going to and pop up ads okay yes says vishal sunil okay pop up ads cannot be created with the help of google adwords but youtube ads definitely can be so if you go ahead and click on plus ad you have the ad gallery within the ad gallery you have the video ads also up here if you have a video then you can actually go ahead and create the video ads also you have the in streaming video ads the in video static image ads they work in the similar fashion whatever targeting you have done those same targeting will be there an advertisement has to be created right i'm going to take uh, remarketing uh, just now dhruv so let's see if i go ahead with the in stream video ad i can select the video i do need a video to actually upload all right so i'm not having a video at present and then we can have a banner which we can select and then the display url to which it will take it to the landing page right can we target any video for our ads no specific videos cannot be targeted but uh, accordingly the same in the same fashion uh, the topics and all that stuff can be targeted sort of all right so uh, i need to have a video in order to target this i can select my destination url so means which we did not upload it 
So your ad will appear on a different video or you can have a video ad appear on certain other sites or on YouTube. But you cannot specify that my ad should appear, my videos, my this video, my ad on these particular videos should appear. That That is something which is not possible. So maybe Google might be working on this and later on this can happen, right? So first you have to, you know, get yourself accustomed to the display ads first. Then the other things, you know, these are, this is way too vast. The video ads is easy, but the light box ad and dynamic ads are uh, more advanced level stuff, guys. So I don't want to confuse each one of you. All right. The display ad is under review. Now, how do you go about creating the remarketing ads is one. And how do you go about creating a conversion? Uh, you know, go on to tools, guys. I'm talking about the conversion optimization tools. And then you have conversions right up here. Click on the conversions part. So, uh, you, Manoj, not now or ever. I'm sorry, I couldn't get you. If you can uh, say your question again, please. Oh, that will be later on. That's the advanced level that like I said. You have to first of all practice this part and then we'll do the dynamic one. Yeah. Right. So underneath conversions, let's say whenever there is a form fill up or a sign up or a download, right? Whenever something of that happens, I want Google AdWords should intimate me that something of this sort has happened. Let's say there are 100 clicks which are happening on my ad and of 100 clicks, maybe 60 people arrive on my page. They, um, the other 30 or 40 people don't arrive. They just click and then they close my page. Okay, this can happen. Now, 100 clicks were there, 60, 70 people came onto my site and out of 60, 70, just 10 of them leave in their details within their, uh, within the form. So this is my landing page, let's say, my advertisement will run. 100 clicks happen on my web, uh, on my advertisement. All the 100 would come in, but most of them, uh, you know, not everybody will uh, remain here. They might, uh, you know, close this the moment they'll see it or they would actually uh, you know do open up something else some people would stay in let's say out of 170 people stay and out of 70 just 20 people submit their name email and phone number now i want to know how many people have submitted so when it was 20 i would get to know that i go on to tools in tools i go on to clicking on plus conversion on plus conversions, when I do, guys, I can, I would select the website. We, we can do it for, uh, you know, the app and the phone calls also. But as of now, I want to do it for website, what all things are happening. Are there a, is there a form submission? Is there a tracking? Okay. Let me go back. Okay, that's what plus conversion select the website and you can name it as a form fill up. Maybe I can name it. Uh, I can give it a value. Let's say I gave a value. I give it a value as $2 or whenever there's a form submission. All right. I can go ahead with not giving it a value and uh, Let's say if I have a e-commerce portal where every domain, every product has a different price, then I can go ahead and click on this, right? And I can mention specific values that for for a phone, uh, for this particular phone sale, I want three dollars to be written as the conversion value. For this particular, let's say, uh, laptop purchase, I want ten dollars to be the conversion value. I can this way this. Uh, in this process, I can mention my conversion value. As of now, you can focus on the form fill up. The very first one, I give it $2. I press on done. The count, when I say the count, 
do I want all the form fill ups or just the unique people? Because sometimes it happens one person submit their form fill ups twice. Okay, so I don't want to consider those people two times or three times if they are submitting their details on the form for the three for three times. I want all the unique entries to be there. I go ahead and do it done. And do I want data for 30 days uh, conversion window or 90 days is the maximum. I can go ahead and do it for 90 days. Right. 90 days conversion window and 30 day view through conversion window is something which is the maximum category I can select is it a purchase sale sign up lead or what I would say it's a lead if I talk about this particular web page it's actually a lead I go ahead and click it lead then press enter and this is something new which has come in optimization include in conversion optimum optimum uh, value Right, conversion window is something like uh, you want data for what particular uh, time period. Conversion window is that. So uh, I always go for maximum. Conversion window means do you want to see data of the past 30 days or 90 days or you want data to get removed for uh, every, you know, it's like we set up a budget uh, for a monthly budget and then we uh, see how much conversions have we got on a monthly basis like the way we get our salaries on monthly basis then on the basis of monthly salary we get uh, we try to make our budget right so similarly we have monthly budgets and on monthly budgets we try to find out how much conversion we had in that particular month if we don't want on the monthly basis we can do it on the 60 days parameter on the 90 days thing right this is optimization thing the last one Makes sense, Vishal. Does that answer your question? So you generally go for the 30-day view through conversion window and 30-day conversion window. There's a slight difference. This is the maximum which you can actually go in for. If you just want to do it month on month basis, for every month the data should be collected and the rest should not be there. You can go ahead with the 30. 30 for both. Optimization is actually all about uh, it says include data for the conversion action in your conversion for optimization column where which are used by any conversion bid strategies for the bid strategies whenever we are using uh, you know a conversion related bid strategy we want those bid strategy to pull out data from here do we want to allow that we press on and then do done makes sense guys now what will happen it is now I will press save and continue it will give me a code which I have to submit onto a web page on a web page which will come after the uh, after the submission of the form fill up you can see it's asking me the tag installation this particular tag you would have to take help from your developer to uh, upload it onto your this thank you page let's say if I type in on the landing page no not on the landing page but on the thank you page so let's say if I have posted my name phone number and email address then once I click on this once a uh, customer will actually fill up his or her name email address and phone number after that he will click on get course details Okay, as of now, I have not clicked, I have not created uh, the thank you page, but generally the thank you page gets created. You have to create the thank you page and within the thank you page, the URL changes, right? It would say dmpartshala.com backslash the thank you.com, right? Thank you.html something. Have you seen that thing happening somewhere? On the page which appears after the form submission, over there you would actually uh, press that what example okay you guys got that so whenever a form is being submitted with the name email address and the phone number a new page opens up and within that new page the conversion value you post that across right makes sense Saurabh Vishal has got that Sunil Nitin Dhruv are you clear on that Manoj Manoj clear, Manoj clear on that, Dhruv, Sunil, 
great. Great guys. So you can go ahead and uh, ask your developer to actually place that code on your web page. All right. And then it will start tracking. This is the entire code which you send your developer to post it across on your thank you page in between the body tag. You have to give these instructions. You can give these instructions like this also email instruction and tag. Click this mention your developer email address. Send a copy to URLs yourself as well and mention that Mr. Developer, please install this within the body tag. The instructions will be sent across, right? See, it says the instructions either you can do it or you have to send it to someone. You can go ahead and do the done part. The conversions get up, you know, uh, this way the conversions will start popping up. You will get to know that out of 100 clicks, how many conversions, how many form fill-ups you have got, right? And in similar fashion, you can go ahead and create your bid strategies. Let me go back to the campaigns part. There are a couple of bid strategies which are quite famous and uh, they work on the either on the bid part, the money which you want to spend or on the position part or on to the conversions part. On the left hand side, can you see shared library? When I click on the shared library, you have bid strategies right up here. So the, there is first of all audience. You have audience. This is this audience thing is the remarketing stuff. I'll come on to the remarketing. Let's first talk about after the conversion, the bid strategy. I click on to the bid strategy thing, guys. All right. It asked me to create a new bid strategy. It says one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bid strategies are there. The one which I like the most, either it's the enhanced CPC or the target search page location. When I select the enhanced CPC, I can name it anything. Let's say I name it as an CPC only. AdWords will change my bid on the basis of whatever conversions I'll be taking. This is created. Nothing difficult in that. The number two bid strategy is the target search page location. Let's say I want to say I want my advertisements on the top of the first page. Okay. Top of the first page and if I want a top of the first page, the first three search results, I can go ahead and click on this top of the first search result page. And I give this permission to Google to automatically raise and lower my bids estimated on the top of the first page bid. Right? I can set my bids myself. I generally go for this. Whichever client to, uh, you know, tells me that I don't have money problem, I'm, I'm okay with spending whatever money my ad should be on the top. I just, uh, you know, create a bid strategy for them, which is top of the page. And then I automatically, I do this automatically raise my bid. I rather do it 100%. You can, I give permission to my, uh, to AdWords, to Google guys to increase my bid on the basis of bids which other competitors are changing. I can set a maximum bid limit to let's say $5 and then add this save. Now this is number two. Enhanced CPC was all about within the budget, within the uh, cost per click which I have selected. My, uh, you know, Google, uh, this is, uh, Google platform will actually show my ads only on those places where the probability, the chances of getting maximum clicks is higher. The number two is I'm not worried about the, uh, what do you say, conversions. I'm just worried about the position. Enhanced CPC was all about maximum conversions within the budget. The top of the first page bid is about just the position and nothing to do with the conversions. Whether conversion happens or not happens, somebody who's worried about just the position, they can go ahead with this particular bid strategy. Number three bid strategy, I just go with these three, uh, these two. I want maximum clicks for my budget. They would, they can, uh, I can go for this. 
or uh, I can do the target outranking share and a CPA. Let's talk about CPA. Let's say I want my conversion value. I want every conversion to happen. You know, a, a value of my conversion to be somewhere at two dollars. I can say if I am getting a lot of clicks and conversions not happening. If I am getting clicks more than two dollars, right, and no conversion is happening, then it's a problem. I want every conversion to happen within a particular amount. I can name that a conversion value. One conversion should at least happen after a spend of two dollars. Let's say there were four, there were four uh, clicks which happened of fifty cents, and out of those four clicks, I have got one conversion which is good. My my one conversion cost me two dollars because four clicks got me one conversion, and one click was for fifty cents. I'm repeating, four clicks got me one conversion, and every click. Was costing 50 cents means one conversion costed me four clicks, and four clicks were was for 50 cents into four, which is two dollars. For two dollars, I got one conversion. I can set my conversion value that I want every conversion for this. If this will work, uh, then my ad will be shown. Otherwise, my ad will never be shown. Make sense? I don't want to confuse you with confuse you with. More uh, bid strategies. You can use this, or you can use the maximum clicks also. So, do you want? Uh, you want? You can place your maximum bid limit. Let's say uh, two dollars. You spend it, and your target spend is ten dollars. So, you say that my target ten dollars is my specific uh, my daily budget. My maximum bid limit is two. The idea is that I am not bothered about the conversions. I am not bothered about the position. I am not bothered about the conversion value. I am just bothered about getting maximum clicks. So whatever your objective is, your bid strategy will actually, uh, you know, play, uh, you know, will be altered according to that. Are you just finicky about the position? Are you just uh, trying to achieve? Uh, you know, a conversion value. Are you just trying to achieve the uh, position, or a conversion value, or uh, you know, higher clicks or higher uh, conversions? All in all, all these would actually depend on what you're trying to achieve. Your bid strategy would depend on your end objective. So once you have created all these, Manoj says, but maximum cl clicks can increase your bounce rate. Absolutely, you, they can. But no, no. But, but why will cl clicks will increase your bounce rate? Bounce rates get increased when clicks happen, uh, and clicks happen from a uh, bad sources. If you are assuming that you are getting clicks from uh, unrelated sites, if you are getting clicks clicks from unrelated sites, then uh, obviously the bounce rate will uh, you know rise. Otherwise not. Right, Manoj? Why will your bounce rate in, increase with maximum clicks? If your clicks, if your clicks are from non-targeted places, not from good sites, not you know, clicks are not getting coming from people who would be interested in your site, then the bounce rate will improve, uh, increase. Someone who is looking for digital marketing campaigns or for learning, and they all are coming onto my site and they are engaging, they are they are uh, getting all that stuff on my site. They will definitely. Stay there for a while. So all these things are there. Uh, the last one, target return on ad spend. Let's say I want a 10% ad spend return. I can just mention that, and then uh, they will see what is my conversion value and what is my ad spend value. They will only show my ads if I if I will apply this bit strategy. Google will only show my ad if 10% return on investment will come. Otherwise, they will not show it, right? Majorly, what we go in for, you know, the most uh, common uh, bid strategy guys, which people go in for, is either the enhanced CPC or the uh, top of the first. So many people are crazy about achieving the first position. 
no matter whatever amount it takes let's say i have to activate top of the first okay what i what i will be doing i will go to all campaigns part let's say this is my campaign like amazon absolutely right very good example manoj that's great uh, amazon always try to be on the top no matter whatever amount they have to uh, give in right i click on the campaign part so it's a uh, All right. Where is that? So add groups, right? I click on the add groups and uh, the bid strategy is to be there. Just to say. settings part. they change something because the bid strategy actually comes over here only right so you have the ad groups and then you have the bid strategy so let's say for this particular ad group these two ad groups not for the display one uh, but for the uh, search one i want to place my bid strategy i'll say i want to change my flexible bid strategy i want to use my flexible bid strategy i click on that all the bid strategies which i had created come over here i go and go ahead and can i can select whatever one i want to go for i can select let's say the maximize clicks one or the top of the first let's say i have clicked on the top of the first now this will make sure my advertisement will always be on the top if it's between my uh, amount which i have given them make sense are we clear on the bid strategy part guys it needs much more uh, understanding by playing around with it so you have to go into the shared library part and play around with this right so dro uh, says yes sunil says yes nitin manoj uh, vishal are we all clear saurav manoj says yes nitin says yes saurav i believe i have went offline no problem All right so that was guys about the bid strategy let's talk about the audience part the audience part actually helps in remarketing do we all recall what we talk what we have spoken about the remarketing last uh, sunday we spoke about the remarketing let's say if i visit a particular website and i close that website due to certain reason i am not able to buy it from there but this particular website let's say i have visited amazon and within amazon i visited a particular page which had a red shoe i went to that red shoe page i don't buy it i close it now wherever i go on the other third party sites that red shoe follows me in the advertisement similarly if somebody will come onto my site digital marketing patshala and i want if they if they don't uh, interact you know if they just come over and then they leave my site i want my advertisement the advertisement which we had created do you recall the advertisement which we had created uh, that uh, display campaign that to be shown across to those audience who have come on to my site right all right so the way you do it you go ahead and click on shared library then the audience and then click on set up remarketing can you see there is a remarketing code again which you need your web developer to again install it across you can uh, let's say put in the email address of your developer so a remarketing code has been placed across uh, your email okay it's not a dot right so the tag instructions have been sent across 
okay i go on to return to audience again now you can see it will create all visitors it has automatically created a list now there are certain list guys which we can create i'll tell you what does this mean the very first one by default means whosoever comes on to my website on any of my web page on any of my web page that is list one now this there is another list which i can create i will tell you how do you uh, use these list you create a new list plus new marketing list let's say you mention the digital marketing course list someone who has visited only my digital marketing course uh, page i want to target them only all right let's say i take this and i go ahead and create a remarketing list name as only the digital marketing course page and the website of the mobile app i'm doing it for the website people who have visited this particular page i can write that and i can mention that this is for the digital marketing page so somebody who has come on to my website now the tag the remarketing tag will be uploaded only once by your developer for every new list there won't be a new a new tag guys right i can go ahead and click on save now what will happen i can select i can select different list for different uh, you know advertisements someone who has checked the red shoe will always get to see the red shoe someone who has uh, seen the white t-shirt will always get to see the white t-shirt i can click uh, create another list let's say a list which talks about uh, a page which is a search engine optimization course page all right so this is the search engine optimization course page i go ahead and take this url and create a different list so remarketing list guys is being created for every different page i go ahead and click that enter the value all right and then mention that this is an seo course whosoever has come on to my seo course and has closed my website will get to see a different ad now let's go back to the campaigns guys if i want to select let's go to display network all right over here can you see interest in remarketing within display network there is this interest in remarketing okay i can change that across i think it's not going to happen from here they have changed again from audience it will happen go on to the audience tab guys there no remarketing list which but rather we created the remarketing list just a while back why is this happening give me a moment so go on to the display network again or let's go to the ad groups within the ad groups you go ahead and click on this this is again not showcasing sure. across
All right, click on plus targeting. So underneath display, click on plus targeting and it'll ask you for the, in, uh, the remarketing. All right, these were the one, these were the things which we had taken in terms of uh, the display keywords, the placements which we had uh, selected. The interest in remarketing, you can go ahead and edit that. Let's say that particular advertisement should appear only to those people who have visited my website. I can go ahead and click on remarketing list and select which list are we, am I talking about. Everybody who has been onto my site should get to visit this. That's how I have added. Now that ad which I have created will be visible to, will be visible to all my visitors who have been once to my website. Similarly, I can create multiple ads and for multiple remarketing list. I can have a different ad and a different landing page just targeting the SEO course. I can have a, a third landing page and a third uh, different remarketing list which talks about the Google AdWords course. Then I have another one, another one and another one. Make sense guys? Now this, this way only my ad will be shown to the people who have been to my website before in whichever way, right? Yes, say Saurav. Dhruv, are you clear? Nitin, Sunil, Vishal, do re refer to this recorded video again and try doing all these techniques which I have shown you across just now, guys. Right? It's very important and uh, you can visit the recorded session again on the YouTube uh, version. So that was about remarketing and the display advertisement along with bid strategy and conversions. I want to talk about a search engine optimization now. And uh, how many of you are aware of search engine optimization techniques, maybe on a certain level? Anybody who knows about search engine optimization? Manoj says full or right, you have been part of it. Yes, says Saurav. Nitin says no. Okay. I'll talk about it. Right. So the major basic stuff, guys, in with respect to the search, display, remarketing have been covered. The other parts, if you have, yes, please go ahead with your question, Saurav. The other things which are there, they all are advanced stuff. In case you want to understand, I can surely give you the resources for it from where to actually look into it and then uh, practice it and ask me as many questions. But the idea is that first of all, master the basic stuff, guys. How can we integrate Google Analytics tool into our AdWords? Very good question. I'll, uh, once we'll start the AdWords, sorry, the analytics, we'll do it. But in case you uh, want to do it right now, let me tell you. Go on to the tools part. So Vishal, you say, I put same keyword phrase, broad, modified, exact in same ad group. Is this, no, no, it's, that is never going to create a problem. Or I have to create different, if you will create a different ad group, then it will be easier for you. Uh, it will be uh, much more convenient. Uh, I would, you know, uh, suggest you to have a different ad groups, but if you have it in the same ad group, it's, uh, it's just that you need to have much more budget in that case. Your ad, your same, within your ad group, your same ad, if you're running it for same ad, it will run for both type of keywords, the broad one, the broad modifier, and the exact, right? As of now, the broad modifier doesn't work properly, like I was telling in the initial part of my session. So broad modifier these days don't work properly. It's the exact phrase and the broad match only. So if you have it within the same ad group, it's, there won't be any uh, problem as such, but uh, I'll suggest you to have it in a different ad group so that you can, in the dimensions tab, I mean, you can see how each and every ad is performing for what sort of keywords. Right, sort of to take that, uh, you on the right, on the top, you can see Google Analytics over here. Click on Google Analytics. Or should I take it, uh, Let's explore block the pop-up, okay. In tool section, absolutely. 
try doing it it's pretty easy it will ask you for the gmail id so your gmail id with the adwords and analytics needs to be integrated oops why is this coming? yes it's in the, it's in the tool section google analytics tools and then analytics right here you go so right now your google i mean your gmail id with the, with which you are doing your adwords and the gmail id with which you have your analytics try to make try to have them same all right and it will automatically ask you if i'll go ahead i have a website it will ask me which website with which website should i link it to and it will get linked just a two step process guy uh, sorry right I'll take analytics, but this is the most easiest fashion. Go on to the top tool section, click on Google Analytics, and it'll ask you which website should be linked to. That's it. Two-step process. All right. Okay. So the next thing, like I said, we're going to start with the search engine optimization, guys. Search engine optimization is something where maximum money is being spent across and maximum conversions. Uh, comes over. This was the ad. Now it's ready. Earlier it was not ready. Yeah, absolutely. AdWords, the basic, overall the basic and the intermediate advanced level, that's over. More or less you have to uh, work on the other stuff and in case you want to do much more advanced stuff, feel free to ask me. I'll give you the resources. You joined in late, right? So this is the third session, and uh, we did the search part also earlier on. We understood the basics of AdWords also. Just like I said, the dynamic one is the advanced level. That's why I'm saying if you want to do it, uh, dynamic one is a bit tricky. That's why if, uh, you would have to. I would give you the resources. If you first of all get me the get me this thing, uh, the basics one done, then we'll do the dynamic one. I want to go with the flow. The pop-ups one are not there with Google AdWords. I haven't come across the pop-up ads with Google AdWords. I'm saying there are no pop-ups. So Yeah. So if you come across any of those, Manoj, definitely let me know if you uh, do your research on that because uh, there are no pop-ups. Uh, Saurabh, definitely I'll take your question also. I'm starting with the SEO and with respect to the pop-up ads, Manoj, you can get back to me because uh, there are no pop-up ads with the Google Adver AdWords platform. There are other different uh, platforms with the help of which uh, you can create pop-up ads. Right. So what exactly do we mean by search engine optimization, guys? What are organic listings? Any anyone and uh, any idea exactly on this? The organic listing, the search, the non paid listings. Right. So you can uh, do it for everyone. Non paid listings. Absolutely. Let's say I have a keyword by iPhone 6, let's say, I type this keyword. These are the paid ones, right? And the ones which are appearing over here, all these, these are the non-paid listings, right? These are the non-paid listings or the search engine organic uh, optimization listings. Now, Google uh, says you can make your website come on the top only if you actually write stuff right below the paid ones only if you write content on your website just for the end customer when i say just for the end customer who's an end customer for me for digital marketing part someone who's trying to learn uh, internet marketing is my end customer that person comes onto my website should get the same content which they're looking for right so why what and why of seo why do we do it why do we do SEO? 
like it says we won't teach if you everything about SEO, but just what you need. So, but I would, I would uh, again, you know, I don't want to go ahead with doing the technical aspects of each and everything with uh, SEO. You guys would be the consultants and you would be telling your uh, developers to do certain things. Web developers are not uh, most of the times aware about the search engine optimization. They're just uh, uh, good with the development aspects. You will always need to make them work as per your uh, consult, you know, as per your whatever uh, recommendations you will give them. So because we need more traffic and we need to be in on top, that's why we need SEO. Absolutely right. So this is the SEO part. You guys already know that something before underneath the paid ads. And it's not magic. It's visibility for your website and customer searches and you need to be there. There are three major parts to it. You know, the creation of the links and certain technical stuff, which is the on page optimization. You know, uh, SEO is divided into two major things on page optimization guys and off page optimization. Now I want all of you to have a, a WordPress related site for which you can do your uh, all your SEO stuff. The, do you have uh, so I believe Saurav I have given you a website Sunil for you too. Vishal I have given one of your website I'll give you the another one. So three of you have already have a website Nitin, Manoj and Dhruv. I'll help you with uh, having a website. I'll give you your website uh, with a domain and a hosting and uh, a WordPress panel with a template and you need a uh, website to actually work on the SEO part. If you let's say you guys can select for keywords like uh, let's say Dhruv select is actually out there in Gujarat. He can select for a keyword like digital marketing consultant in Ahmedabad. Now Nitin is actually out there in uh, Ludhiana, Punjab. He can select a keyword like internet marketing professional in Ludhiana. You know, you can select these keywords and you can seriously get your website on the top. That will be a magic. So and for same keywords, you can also uh, make your website. You know, you can create content. Uh, sorry, content is definitely there. You can create AdWord campaigns for those keywords. So Manoj, if you want to do it for your particular location, Sunil, Vishal, you can select keywords like this, sort of, right? I'll give you the websites, guys, for all those you don't have. And uh, in next session, we'll have everything in detail covering that. So just covering the basic stuff about uh, SEO today. So what does Google uh, actually looks at? Google looks at the content part what all content is there on your website right so if you publish people would come onto your website and the links which are there on your website there are certain links Let, let's talk about certain basic stuff today the very first thing which i want to tell you is an anchor text are you guys aware of what exactly an anchor anchor link or an anchor text is Now these are certain things which probably somebody can ask you in a absolutely right Vishal you got that right Manoj you know that. Let's say this is a particular link the particular text which is a, a text which is a clickable text is an anchor text guys. Okay. Most of you are aware about the SEO stuff. I believe. So more mobile cases this is a clickable text. Right. This, these are called an anchor text, guys. Over here, these, this particular, these texts are not clickable text. This is not a clickable text. So these are not anchor text. All these are not anchor. So this is anchor text. Every website is made up of uh, n, you know, different web pages. Whenever we optimize a particular website, we are just not optimizing a particular website. We are optimizing all the web pages of that site. Make sense? I mean, you are optimizing this particular page for a keyword, let's say iPhone 616 GB, right? Another web page, you might actually uh, do it for a different, different web page altogether. 
let's say you have another page you will have a different keyword targeted for this for this particular url you would have you know tablets tablets as one of the keyword you know tablets in india or buy online tablets you know mobile tablets something of this keyword will differ for every web page guys every keyword will have a every you know a different web page this is another thing right now what are links there is one thing which is very much famous with respect to backlinks does anybody know what exactly we mean by backlinks i am telling you the basics to begin with on page and off page are the two major things anything you do on the website any changes you do on the website is called on page optimization guys and anything you do outside the website where you're not touching the website at all you're making cert you're doing certain things outside the website that's called off page to give you an example a simple example now seo revolves around these two things only on page and off page so to give you an example on page which is on the web page let's say i am changing something on my web page i am changing the picture i am changing the text i am changing the uh, overall uh, look and feel the title the, there are certain tags and all i will take that in brief in next session everything which you change on your website is on page guys and let's say for, for off page like i said outside the website i am not going to touch on this website i have a different website let's say ndtv.com ndtv.com write something in its you know uh, gives in a news about snapdeal and within their text within their news they have a hyperlink they have a hyperlink which goes on to the snapdeal website that's a off page or a backlinking our links on other websites are backlinks absolutely so let's say if i click over here uh you know on the business part there is particular uh in the business section there comes a particular content and within the content you have a particular tab you have a particular link being created when you click on that link it redirects it takes you to the snapdeal web page now this is a off page optimization for the snapdeal web page website having backlinks on third party sites is off page we tell many people we tell many websites to create you know to have uh, backlinks on their website for our website it's all about giving votes so we are seven people as of now including me let's say six of you today go back after this session you know you uh, take your websites and you post in a content on your website which which says today i attended one of the uh, remarketing session or the uh, you know the bid strategy stuff or the display ads or the search ads in google adwords from uh, nick uh, from digital marketing patshala nick sir from digital marketing patshala and uh, within that you know digital marketing patshala you actually hyperlink that text and give it back to digital marketing patshala website all of you all six of you have given six different backlinks from your respective websites to my website right this is called off page optimization nothing was done on my website but you actually guys did that you gave backlinks somehow my my uh, website's ranking for the targeted keyword will improve search engine will see that for dm patshala there so many people who are giving in votes in other language you guys have given me votes right six of you have given me votes that is uh, giving votes or giving backlinks uh, is a process of off page off page is the most easiest function guys on page we'll talk in detail uh, in our next class because i want you to have a website before that but in, from a basic perspective i've told you makes sense are we clear on the off page and the on page dhruv manoj nitin saurabh sunil vishal yes says dhruv yes says saurabh how about others sunil are you clear on this Michal says yes. Okay. Yes says Manoj. Right. Manoj already knows about on page and the off page. Right. 
So it's uh, okay. So the, that's the on page and the off page. The backlinks they connect one website to another, like I told you. How search engine reads. This is very important for you to understand. What exactly are search engines? So Nitin say mouth shirt is off page site where we can give reviews. Absolutely right, Nitin. Mouth shirt is basically a website uh, where you give reviews and that also helps in online reputation management. People put post across content over there in order to build uh, you know, uh, their branding. So search engine reads from top to bottom and left to right. You know, they read the keyword rich content. Your content needs to have certain keywords within your website. This is one. This is how search engine reads keywords. So Google sees it this way. They check the URL, they check the title tag, description and keyword. Okay, let me tell you what exactly a title tag or a description or a keyword is all about. Let's say this is my website. Uh, so this is my web page, okay? Within this web page, I can check for the view source code. When I say view source code, how? So this is going to be a bit technical. Don't get uh, bogged down with it. Uh, I'll, I'll make it as simple for you as I can. Click on the right hand side. You know, do a right click by taking your cursor to a place where in a blank space. Click right, and you would see view page source. You can check for the source code of your web page. And within the source code, guys, you can also do control U. Absolutely right, Saurabh. The another way is you can do control U. Do control F. Okay. Once you are all over here, you can do control F and check for title. Every web page has its own unique title. Okay. Now this is a unique title, guys. This one which I am showcasing across to you. Google AdWords certification get certified by Google and work from home, right? Similarly, you have meta descriptions and meta keywords. Can you see this? Meta description is right up here. Meta description learn from industry experts in Gazaba learn digital marketing. Every web page has its own description. Every web page has its own title tag. Now title tag generally is between 50 to 70 characters but we take it 50 to 55 characters and meta description is 150 to 154 characters that's what we generally take meta description and title tag title tags generally talk about what the web page is all about meta description talks about what difference do we offer and then we have meta keywords. We can target one to three keywords every web page, right? We type in one, two keywords this way, right? Guys, make sense. We have three important stuff. The title, which is 50 to 70 characters. We have description and then we have keywords, right? I will tell you in detail in next class how do we go about pasting uh, title tags and the description and the keywords. I'll just share across one uh, thing with you. There's another. Yes, there is there is a uh, limit of keywords. Very good question. One to two, one to three keywords per web page. So you can target one to three keywords per web page. That's what you should actually look for. If you're targeting more than that, it becomes difficult to rank your website. For every web page. Now I, I was just uh, telling you about one of the on page checklist I have. I have certain checklist which me with me 
All right. So this particular checklist helps me to write down all the URLs which are there on my site, the home page, the internal page. I can set for which keywords, you know, what keywords should I have for what particular web page. How do I go about doing a keyword analysis? Also, we'll take that with the help of Google Keyword Anal Google Keyword Planner tool uh, in next session. So uh, I have covered most of the basics today in terms of on page, but we'll talk in detail and we'll have everything. I want you guys, this is a small assignment for SEO, to first of all identify at least five keywords, five keywords for which you want to rank your website up. All right, and once you have decided that within your website, either you have a website right now or you will have it later on, you can decide. Uh, in case you don't want to go with five keywords, maybe you can select one to three keywords also. One to three keywords and just let's try with home page only. So for home page only, have one to three keywords, select one to three keywords and we'll target that one to three keywords for your home page. We'll create a, a, a title tag I would, I mean, I want you to create title tag and description for that. And also, uh, you know, there would be header tags also. That I'll showcase you in next class with the WordPress uh, overall uh, panel, the back end. Makes sense. Just select one to three keywords for your website, guys. Your personal website. So uh, some of you already have your Word, uh, WordPress website. And in case you don't have, I'll give it to you this week, right? Makes sense. I, I'm not going moving ahead because uh, if I'll talk, uh, if I'll take the back end panel, it'll take some more time. It's 148. Uh, whatever questions you have, feel free to email me across and do visit this uh, recorded session of uh, today's class and last class. Any keyword finder tool, absolutely you can use a Google keyword finder tool, a keyword. I would recommend you to just use a simple uh, keyword like, you know, a digital marketing consultant in Noida or in Lajpan Nagar. Wherever you are residing, it's going to be a bit easy to, first of all, rank your website up for that particular thing. Yeah, keyword planner tool from uh, Google. Google keyword planner tool, that's what I've written. Right, I'll share this across with you guys. Uh, if somebody can help me create a Google group, uh, anybody who can do that either uh, and send me the credentials, I'll I'll have one person to whom I'll send the Excel sheet and you can share that across within yourself. Or I'll do it. Uh, I think I have all the details of each and every one. I'll create a Google group and then send that across. No problem. Make sense? Right, so it's 4.50, we'll wrap up the session, we'll wrap up today's session and then uh, we'll connect next week. But before that, if you have further more queries, uh, please ask me across. Do work on the remarketing, the bid strategies, the display tool, the display, uh, you know, advertisements we created. And if you can read something about the on-page, off-page stuff, I would like with whatever I have told you just now, if you'll read just in plain, simple language, you'll get it. Right. Select couple of key, you know, couple of keywords for your home page and then we'll do it in next session. Right, guys, we'll end up the session. Any further queries, you questions you have, uh, just text me across, WhatsApp me across. I believe everybody's connected with me on WhatsApp. OK, great. I hope it was a valuable session today. Did, did that add value to I mean, was it informative and valuable? Yes, says Nathan. Thanks. Yes, says Manoj. Thanks. Yes, says Vishal. Great, guys. We'll be in touch. Uh, thanks. It's a valuable session. Thanks a lot, Saurabh. And uh, we'll be in touch. We'll meet next Sunday. Before that, feel free to touch base with me. Take care now. Enjoy your Sunday, guys. Take care. Bye.